vos fesses. Il y en a pas 40 plus! Alright, look. It's an embarrassing fact that this hard that act thinks he can battle a rap when his accents are wank. <laughs> Megalo, mate, your life's a mess. You're a 36 year old man in your performing fancy dress. <laughs> <laughs> if you want people in your show, then lower your prices. No one wants to pay full price to see a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> midlife crisis, this dude drives a mini. You've got stars in your eyes, but you'll be lucky if you can get one star in the skinny. Your friend's pregnant now, how far along she is she? I tell you what, I think you'll make a good father and spouse, but just remember when your wife conceived, I stayed at your house. <laughs> 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 I remember the day well, she screamed, oh lordy lordy, and we'll know if it's mine if it comes out talking Jordy. You alright, Mr. Tall, Dark and Handsome? You want to kidnap your, pre kidnap your pregnant wife and hold the bitch ransom? Fuck, <laughs> I tell your unborn child's pregnant with my grandson. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually going to Ben Norris the fuck out of this. Before I start, can I just thank Daniel Sloss for giving me several very important, very personal pieces of information about my life and coming very useful in the next few minutes. Thank you, Ursula. So it's a rap jihad, more like a rap jihad. I had a feeling he was going to say that about my kid. <laughs> He's a good mate of mine, I don't want to take the piss, but the fog on the time is certainly not his. His name is Kai, an unlikely hit with the ladies. As you'll see, this guy thinks that he's slim and shady. He's from the darkest north, covered in tattoos, Primark t-shirt, and Nike shoes. But you people, that's not something that you'd know, because in most of his posters, he's wearing no clothes. <laughs> uh, his cup is always half full when shit goes wrong. He came to Spain and got trampled on. Those balls were huge, son. Each one like three Ricky Grovers. When it time came to run, the motherfucker just fell over. <laughs> he got national press coverage. He was having a ball. I ran it perfectly, and I got fuck all. <laughs> He's happy-go-lucky with a goofy smile, but working out what he's saying, well, that can take a while. <laughs> he met Chris McCausland, a fine blind comic, when Chris felt Kai's height. He said he found it ironic. He said, you're taller than I thought. It's the surprise of the week, because when you speak, you sound just like a kid with a mouth full of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> That's me for the first round. Hey. Oh, hello, Milo. What a surprise. Your style's slow. I'm going to get up on your face and sprint in a pace and hit this nice flow. Oh! Oh! No, nice. oh, I'm nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come on, Milo? We all know you're in there. You can put on accents, wear fancy suit, wear women's swimwear, but we all know you're in there. <laughs> but no. <laughs> but, but Milo, why don't you hide behind a persona? Why don't you do it? Because no one wants to see the real you, some old boring loner who can't hold a boner, as exciting as a coma, with a bad aroma. Everything that is, everything you're spitting is written, and you think you're gonna win. I'm hitting shit off the top of my head straight into your bum chin. <laughs> <laughs> I run rings around this bitch, just give me half a beat. You won't be on top of Edinburgh if you sit on Arthur's seat. Hey. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> I hope your ass is clean. Cause I'ma put my arm up all the way without no Vaseline. <laughs> it's gonna be a mix up when I get my fist up. Cause I'm up and ready to get your and talk fire with my lips shut. <laughs> the only way your character's gonna get a cheer or fulfill the one and win a maze if I play a puppeteer and take all responsibility. 
about it. <laughs> no one wants to hear this posh cunt born with a silver spoon. Did I mention him on an 845 in the balcony room of the Gilded Balloon? It's game over, my Lopez. Put your baseball bat away, you posh cunt. The Royal Mail is that away. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to get personal. <laughs> He's got more Facebook friends than me, and more followers on Twitter, but at least no girl has ever pissed in my kisser. <laughs> in terms of oral sex, this man's skills are immense. He goes down quicker than a council fence. He pleases these ladies when he's baked, which is nice, but he's eaten his own load by mistake at least twice. <laughs> Second round. <laughs> 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 that means with false sense of curiosity, thereby enhancing my ability to move effectively in any given situation. Thank you. <laughs> His group sex history is like a jungler's bill. It's crazy. There's always chicken in a basket and way more men than ladies. <laughs> Him and Tom from the noise next door. We're both pounding the same lady. Tom came first on her breasts because he didn't want a baby. <laughs> Kai made a mistake, went on a toilet break. When he came back, yeah, he ate some tartar sauce with his steak. <laughs> 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 he was unaware Tom had just just there so he licked those puppies like he just didn't care <laughs> but in some places that's considered a win Wayne Rooney just named his latest baby after him <laughs> he's a rolling stone that gathers weed instead of moss and he does what he's told by his boss Daniel Sloss. Let's hear it for Bush Brown, let's go! So at the end of the session is yours. Let's hear it for Kai! Now let's hear it for Milo! Can I have one last to go?